Good morning, children. Welcome again in maths class. Children, again we'll continue chapter plane shapes and square. So, children, you must be playing with the Ludo at your home. So, Ludo is of which shape? Yes, square. Okay. C. Chess board. Square. Then, carrom board. Square. So, let's do exercise 15.3. So here are some shapes and we find the shape of a square and color them with blue. So A is a square, F square, yes J square and C is a square. So color all these shapes with a blue color. Now again here take the objects in the shape of a square. So here C. Yes, this is a square. Okay, this is a square. So we take these objects. Come to sides and corners of a square. So let us find the number of edges in a square. So square, it has four edges. And edges of a square are called sides. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so we can say that square, it has four sides. So sides of a square are AB, BC, CD and D. So let us find the number of corners in a square. So square has four corners. So corners of a square are A, B, C and D. So let's see here. So all sides of a square they are equal. So AB it is equal to BC and CD it is equal to D. So we can sum up a square it has four sides and four corners and all sides of a square are equal. So let's do exercise 15.4. So fire fill in the blanks. Sides of square are EF then FG and GH and HE. So corners of square are P, Q, R and S. So C you will do yourself. So square it has four sides and four corners and all sides of a square are equal. Now move on to rectangle. So here the blackboard is a rectangle. This board is a rectangle. Then copy it is in rectangle shape. Your door, it is in rectangle shape. Postcard, it is also a rectangle shape. So let's do exercise 15.5. So which of the following shapes have the shape of a rectangle? So we color them with yellow. So find out children. Yes, this one A. Then J. Yes, E. Very good. Yes, G also. Very nice. So, we color them these shape with yellow. Now here, take the objects in the shape of a rectangle. So here, see children? Yes, this flag and this goal post. Okay? We'll take. Now sides of a corner are corners of a rectangle. Sides and corners of a rectangle. So let's find the number of edges in a rectangle. So again rectangle it has four edges. Now see one, two, three, four. It also has so all the sides of a rectangle they are known as edges. And we can say that a rectangle has four sides. So sides of a rectangle are A, B, B, C, C, D and D. Now let's find the corners of a rectangle. It has four corners. So corners are A, B, C and D. So again we can say that a rectangle has four sides and four corners. And sides which do not meet at corners, they are called as opposite sides. So opposite sides, they occur in pairs. So rectangle has two pairs of opposite sides. This one 
and this one okay so in rectangle opposite pairs are ab and ct bc and ad and opposite sides sides they are equal in length we can say rectangle it has ab is equal to ct and ad is equal to bc so sides which meet at corners they are called as meeting sides and meeting sides occur in pairs so rectangle has four pairs of meeting sides so in this rectangle meeting sides or meeting pairs are ab and bc bc and cd cd and da and da and ab and meeting sides they are not equal in length so here you can see ab bc cd and da and these two are equal and these two are equal okay so rectangle it has two pairs of opposite sides opposite sides are equal in length and rectangle has four pairs of meeting sides and meeting sides are not equal in length so let's do exercise 15.6 fill in the blanks so sides of rectangle ef fg gh and he so right here children and corners of a rectangle are yes e f g and h so right here okay so right a rectangle has four sides and it has four corners okay so right here sides of a rectangle which do not meet at a corner are called opposite sides and a rectangle has two pairs of opposite sides okay now pairs of opposite sides of rectangle are you are right eh and fg and fe and gh okay so do it on your own children right so this is all for today we'll continue in our next class till then thank you and have a nice day